we're tracking storm damage in Cake Land this midday. Strong winds and severe storms ripped through parts of Cake Land. About 80 mile an hour winds blew through McPherson County. A lot of damage in that area. Now overnight there was a train that had derailed and several of the cars uh, were destroyed. And we do want to get to Jordan Shefty. She was in Galva tracking this morning's cleanup. Take a look. This is what one of the front yards looks like here in Galva. Huge limbs snapped off the tree, some of them 10 to 12 inches in diameter. And this is just the start of the problems here. I went outside because it was looking pretty murky and was picking up my yard stuff. And by the time I got in the door, uh, there was sideways wind with dust. You couldn't see anything. It's the storm that put Galva in the national news. Galva gets known. <laughs> The big attraction, a train knocked off the track by the high winds. Barricades prevent onlookers from getting too close, but toppled train cars still cover a field as crews continue work. The Douglas family can watch the progress from their backyard. Pretty weird to see a train blow over. 34 cars of the yeah. UP trail train uh, run over. And they were among many cleaning up today. Even their four-year-old son Sawyer lended a hand and his wagon. I will pick up two years when that hair comes here and I put them in my wagon. The limbs just a part of the aftermath. The roof on this building ripped off and this storage unit destroyed. 11 RVs parked beneath had to be removed one by one. Well, golf ball size hail and 80 mile an hour wind can't be good on nothing. Several homes have severe hail damage, but the Douglases say the town will get through this by helping each other. The storms definitely make you help your neighbors more, but you need to be like that everywhere, not just stern storms. Jordan Shafty, Cake News.